It's Wednesday, August the 10th, and I just wanted to bring you up to date as to the progress that's occurred. Nothing has happened on the outside of the house for the last week and a half, um, but we've had a couple of uh, upgrades that have occurred um, to the interior. So, for instance, today we had um, a uh, representative from Pioneer Water come and install our reverse osmosis tap. So we purchased this and it is now running. Uh, we have to actually flush the system a little bit. You can see some of the piping that's occurred in the back. So we now have reverse osmosis water available to the little sink here. And it's also running to the dispenser in the fridge. I can show you that. Grab a cup here. And as soon as we've gone through uh, a couple of tanks full of water, we'll have ice water available to us as well. Uh, we just have to clean the system. Um, there was also a crew in to install the farmhouse sink this morning. So Jay and his helper Tom were here to install the sink. So that is now in place uh, in the island. And we've started to move a few things in. So the cutting board that comes with the sink is on top. And I put the cleaning, uh, or sorry, the wire rack on the bottom. So that's available as well. And we had uh, an additional support, uh, two additional supports added to the island. Uh, because we also had somebody in to make the final measurements, for the island countertop and the countertop that's going to go uh, at the back of the uh, uh, in on the back wall of the kitchen itself. So the countertop there will extend all the way from the uh, coffee area and it'll extend into the window area in that window. Uh, very snug to the stove and then into the window area here on this other side and it'll be covering the entire island from one end to the other including this area that will end up being space for the stools that you're seeing here right now. So that happened this morning. Uh, this uh, yesterday we had the HVAC folks in, and we now have a uh, mini split here, a fairly large one, with the drain that is not complete yet. There has to be a, uh, a turn, uh, so a, 50, uh, a 90 degree turn, I think, needs to go in there so that the um, condensation, the water that's coming from the actual uh, AC unit, the air conditioning there, will be directed down that, uh, that drain so that we don't get water everywhere. Um, that has to be done yet. Uh, and you can see that they've cut a hole into the, um, into the drywall to accomplish that, to make it available. Um, we also had the mini splits installed in Rachel's room. So there you see a smaller mini split and the drain has been completed uh, as is needed. Um, they also provided the remote that will be used. It's actually a thermostat and it's also a control for turning on the mini split itself. And then finally, the same thing has occurred here in our master bedroom and again uh, the drywall has been cut out and the drain 
can no longer be seen because it's actually in place uh, as it should be. And so the drywall will need to be fixed, etc. The only problem with running air conditioning is that we don't have power yet for the system. So I'll just very briefly go downstairs and show you the work that was done in the mechanical room. So in the mechanical room, they were working on the, the large tracing that you can see here. So it's both power as well as the refrigerant that's going through the copper wires that are in that in in this piece of tubing. So there's three pieces of tubing that are insulated that are taking the refrigerant out to the compressor outside. And I'll show you that in a minute. It's a very large unit. And here you can see the filters for the reverse osmosis. So here we have the actual filters themselves, three of them, the active one on the right hand side, and then the backups. And then the tank is uh, sitting on the floor. And apparently it takes about three hours or so to fill. Um, so we'll uh, look at draining that in uh, a little while so we can flush it and then it has to be flushed two more times and going up the wall you can see it's put two valves in one for the top one is for the faucet that I was showing you uh, this uh, earlier and uh, the bottom one is for the fridge and so those are shut off valves for both of those and then they go up into the ceiling here the one going almost directly above for the fridge and the one that going over the, the corner of the uh, edge and into the, um, the rafters up there. Um, that's for the one that's going to the faucet itself. Uh, apparently we need power for this system yet. The water heater is working just fine. We're getting great showers these days. I had one again this morning. Um, we need power for this yet. Apparently it's hooked up here and here, but the outside unit is not hooked up yet. And so let's just take a look at that work. The only work that's actually done on the exterior of the house was to add in the Samsung air conditioning compressor. So that's what's doing the heat exchange with the outside environment. Oh, it's warm out here. I haven't been outside yet today. As you can see, it's not changed significantly at all out here. We're ready though for landscaping. So getting a bulldozer out and leveling things out, putting topsoil yeah. back in. And there, is our digital inverter uh, technology Samsung unit that will be used to uh, take heat um, out of the environment and, and uh, allow for air conditioning. So apparently that's a four ton unit. They measure them in weight uh, for some reason or other, or mass. Um, and this is a unit that can be used to supply uh, air conditioning for all three of the units upstairs. So apparently there is not power to this yet. There needs to be. Here you can see power coming in from the um, the line that's over there coming from Hydro One and the all of the the lines that you're seeing on top so I'll go around the back these are the ones that are coming through the wall on the other side and they are supplying the, uh, the liquid that is going to be compressed in this unit itself. So this is our Samsung air conditioning unit or compressor and it's on its own concrete pad and that has been installed. 
Um, temporary insulation as well here for the uh, so this is supposed to be a dry well or the beginnings of a dry well but uh, uh, it'll be completed later because the actual hose that will be used or big O that'll be used for the dry well itself so they'll bury this and then what you see there in terms of those hoses will end up going into this space uh, the space, a uh, uh, French drain essentially, that's created by the hose when it's buried under gravel, etc. So that'll happen sometime in the future, probably when we get uh, uh, landscaping occurring. Anyways, almost ready to go. So that unit uh, is not ready to go yet because it has the same problem as this one. It needs power to it yet. Uh, apparently next week they're going to start working on the inside and doing the finishing of the uh, the casing of the windows on the inside so we'll end up with the uh, window uh, ledges etc um, so that brings you up to date as to what's going on in the house this week not a lot but some progress and uh, hopefully we'll be moving to full completion by the time we get to the end of this month. So we've got about three weeks to go. Anyways, uh, I'll post this to, um, to YouTube as soon as possible so that you uh, know what we're up to. And uh, um, the rest of the family is not around. Um, I came down for a couple of days to uh, have some meetings with my grad students, etc. But the rest of the family is up at the cottage uh, near Apsley and uh, enjoying a few days and I'm going to join them uh, so I'll have another day of uh, enjoyment at the cottage uh, Thursday and part of the day on Friday coming back Friday afternoon anyways talk to you again soon